Holy Spirit, help me. Kia ora whanau, no my hare mai, and welcome to my YouTube channel and to this first video on the channel. I'm super excited to be able to bring you guys into my world. It's just it's just gonna go deeper than Instagram and Tumblr and hopefully even than the blog. This first video is documenting my trip that I just took to New Zealand, Aotearoa. I was primarily there for a really, really special event celebrating 50 years of scripture and song. It was all pioneered in like 1968 by these guys from New Zealand. So it's incredible the legacy and the heritage that not only Aotearoa gets to walk in, but that all of us get to walk in as worshippers, as creatives. So, without further ado, this is American Idol. <laughs> so, without further ado, this is my trip to New Zealand, Aotearoa. Oh, that's right, it's only 8.45 in the morning. I've been wide awake since 5. Well, here we are. Welcome to New Zealand. For those of you who don't live here, or anyone who's never been to Waihi Beach for that matter, you need to get here one day because look at this. It's just amazing. A beautiful, glorious sunset. There's like literally no one around. Isn't that just amazing? Look at that. It's so beautiful. This is where I come when I need to meet with the Lord. I want some fresh vision and clarity and peace. There's no way you're not gonna find everything that your heart is looking for. Every little thing that the Lord might have to say to you, it's gonna be revealed on a beach like this. Alrighty, so this is LMP, Lemon and Pairoa. Pairoa is a town near Wahi. Affectionately New Zealand soft drink. I don't know how long it's been. <laughs> That is good though, that is good. LMP, world famous in New Zealand since ages ago. Cool big bottle. Classic New Zealand. Iconic. To, to really explain what the Tim Tam's name, you've got to, you got to first bite the corner up. Oh no, we're gonna have to do the jack. Everybody, is everyone biting the corner up? Oh, yeah. You gotta bite the other corner up. Opposite corners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opposite mm -hmm. The, the liquid can, can free and flow in between the two. It's not bottom. Right. No, I'm gonna actually borrow your your copy. Yeah. yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Um, oh. Before it has a chance to melt, you dip it in the cream. And, oh. oh my god. Oh. Mm, mm. For America, these are available at World Market. Rachel, so um, guess what flavor it is that I'm eating? Butter chicken. Good job. Did I tell you what I'm doing? Yeah. Should we selfie it a little bit so you can be in it? Like like I'm not eating it. I know, but I want you to watch. I, it's like the reaction of you watching me eat the pie. Okay. That's my also my reaction. I'll be partially. Like, here's the thing, Rachel so is very um, health conscious. So maybe a little bit you could release a secret. Do you ever just sneaky get a BP pie? I've never had a BP pie. Not once, not once. Ever. You need to bite. No. You need no. to bite on camera. You need I'm to not doing that. Bite. It's not worth it. You need to bite this it's on camera. It. it is worth it. Also, careful of the crumbs. <laughs> careful of the crumbs. Honestly, crumbs. Okay. Okay. Go for it. ASMR. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> oh. How is it? You have to show the viewers. It is, it is everything how I remember that. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I it's been too long, it's been like a year. <laughs> what is the single hair right there? <laughs> Do you want to pop Just it Just under <laughs> your Adam's apple. Do you want to pop no, absolutely not. I thought this vlog was G rated. Crumbs! You consider this off roading? Yeah. Because 
we were after three half. Look at this. <laughs> Honestly guys, this is heaven on earth. If only you could flip. Look, someone's stuck. So you're using like those bubble colored ones. Okay. Stop exposing me. Stop exposing me. I don't expose you. <laughs> Sorry, that was just our first little domestic. <laughs> Black sand beaches. <laughs> <laughs> Bricks and beaches. Guys, this is New Zealand. <laughs> I got it. Wow. I think this that is like, good. I feel like my hair is literally doing this. Most, like most, of, like most of the time. <laughs> what <laughs> thing have you ever thought about buying a ticket to come to New Zealand? This beach is. <laughs> <laughs> This Who beach. are you talking? Their stomachs are together. <laughs> Press your tummies so, together. So. He hasn't eaten enough. Oh, no. Yeah. I want to just go bless their baby, but also, what if it's not a baby? What if she just is proud of her belly? Okay, great. So please come to New Zealand. <laughs> Welcome to New Zealand. Okay. Oh, that's a great move. <laughs> It's just... <laughs> you need to watch that back! You need to watch that back! Where are we right now? We are in Mount Eden. Mount Eden. The, is this like Auckland's last Christian bookstore? I, so. I feel like it is. Downstairs in the basement, the clearance section. And I'm just gonna have a look for some great finds, some great buys. I really hope there's some like Bethel in the clearance section. That would make my day. Okay, I remember this on coming out and thinking this album cover was the coolest thing I had ever seen. That was, I remember like trying to emulate that with all of my heart. Probably unsuccessfully, but it definitely set me on a path of clipping masks and texture, texture. I, okay, I have to find, I made I made something like this and I will I'll show you what I, my version of the Undivided album cover. <laughs> Discovering more posters because you have no idea. This is, this was my wall as a child. Hillsong, Hillsong. <gasps> Corey, no. Taylor, did you make that? We did not make that. Somebody here made that. Someone in New Zealand made that. Oh, moment. Once again, design the album. Did not make that poster. Okay, real quick, just gonna do a quick quality control. My favorite thing to do when I come to New Zealand. Have a quick look at the albums and make sure that they're replicating them well. Really hope none of our international distributors end up seeing this video and they're like, what are you doing? Yeah, honestly, one of them has kind of the wrong spine. I'm not gonna reveal which one it was, but one of these ones right in here. It's not 100% correct. It's okay, physical's in clearance anyway. <laughs> Who wore it better, guys? Who wore it better? Be honest. Josh, seriously? That's a bit expensive for this. <laughs> I'm here at Life Church tonight, Life Central, which is in Mount Eden here in Auckland, and gonna be speaking and sharing and being interviewed, I think, tonight here. I don't know if any of you guys find this, but sometimes when there's a lot of people, I can't really be like out amongst the brethren, but it's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna hang out here for a long moment with my fauna, and of course hear from my God on what I feel like he's wanting to say, any last minute thoughts or anything, because the idea of all those seats being filled is honestly nerve-wracking. Yeah, what God calls you to, he um, giveth grace. So it's gonna be really, 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 really fun. So just leaning into partnering with what he's already doing, I'm really excited. This weird hybrid accent where the, the R's are rolled and everything else is still like, hello, I'm from Bidlow. So, yeah. yeah, it's interesting. It's just not something to be like lightly tossed around. Yeah, just fully understand. And you know, if that's something that, you know, very, very quietly you're resonating with and you're like, yep, yeah, that's me, I understand those struggles. 
Um, I think the biggest thing for me, and it sounds so cliche, but honestly it was like realizing that I wasn't alone in that and that you're not inherently wrong and God hasn't given you this as something that is like punishment for something in your life. We serve a good God, we serve a good Father, um, as the song tells us. <laughs> um, and it's in His nature is reconciliation, redemption, you know, um, deliverance. It's literally His nature too, is He can't help Himself but want to break through for His children. But I will say the, I think the biggest thing that was the hardest thing for me to grapple with and to uh, walk out is that it's surrender. Uh, especially where it comes to things, um, I'd say like like sexuality, it's not a one-time fix-all kind of thing. I have seen it like that, where the Lord has really supernaturally broken through and has delivered someone, and you know, to their testimony, it's like one day it was this, and the next day it was literally not from a crazy encounter. Um, that's not how it was for me. It has been a gradual but intentional um, following after. Uh, the Holy Spirit and what he was leading me to each and every day. It's been intentional counseling. It's been an intentional renewing of my own mind and allowing the Holy Spirit to renew my mind as well. Um, there are there were seasons where I had wrote prayers that I would pray and declare over myself. Um, even because like there are serious like scientific things of looking at like, you know, how your brain is wired that if you've been speaking things out or you've had people who have uh, like for want of a better word, like cursed you with their words. It's very real. Like if you just had people like I did, who when I was going to school would just wait at the top of the you know stairs and just call out you know faggot or whatever, declaring things over you that I didn't know at the time, didn't have the um, yeah, didn't have the knowledge or the wisdom to know even how to like rebuke that and cancel that and not come under that. Um, I had to go back in, and I still do have to if something will like resurface randomly. Um, go back and undo those things. Right. You know, we are, we genuinely are products of what has been said to us, what has been done to us, what we thought about ourselves. Yeah. You know, if you look in the mirror every day and you're just, you know, whether it's just in your own mind, you're like, oh, you're ugly, you know. You're going to have to go and undo that. And potentially as long as you've been doing that, it may be as long as you have to go and undo that. Yeah. Uh, but I had to sign up for the long walk to freedom. Truly, like you don't know how long, I don't know how long it was going to take, but I was signed up for it, and God is faithful. Yeah, that it's not kind of like, oh, I just know how to manage that. It's like, no, no, that actually has no hold on me. And also, as a, something that's just very important to remember, temptation is not a sin. Jesus was tempted, and so often I think we get we get so much of that stuff just mixed up. We think that just because we are tempted or because an old thought pattern could come back to life randomly or some, some stress thing like triggers something that opens something back up again. Oh my gosh, we're not free. I'm not free. What have I done? Oh no, this is like terrible. Your level of freedom is not dictated by temptation that comes against you. Because like literally, that's, that, and I think that's been the biggest revelation for me. It's like, oh, something's coming against me. Suddenly like temptations hitting me and it's like really strong and it's like really appealing. No, 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 I'm not like, that doesn't mean I'm somehow like, yeah. I'm victorious, I'm struggling all over again. It means we've got a very real enemy who knows something that's always been, you know, an easy way in for him to like try and disrail you and get you off course. And so potentially until your deathbed, he's going to come and try and get you off course, especially creatives worship leaders, people who are called to ministry within the church, and people who are called to bring that freedom and that authority and that victory to others. Because he cannot stand a room that is like this, of people who are together, who are unified, who are coming together for the kingdom, and who are going to rise up in victory. He's like freaking out in his boots right now. And that's the thing, it's like, you've got to remember that, that temptation of things that come against you, it's something coming against you, it's not fundamentally who you are, and it has no... It does not define your level of victory. Yeah. Just, you've got to remember that. Whatever it is, you have to remember that. And throw these away. Kevin wearing completely different clothes and now this. Yep. This guy's <laughs> really making some damage. Oh, you're making yourself at home, aren't you? <laughs> How many things did I bought? Ten things? Eight things? Thirteen. Oh. <laughs> wow, California didn't know what hit it. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, is that enough filming? That's enough. 
So continuing our great tour of Aotearoa. Today I'm driving from Hamilton, Kirikiriroa, to Tauranga. So I stopped up here at a place called McLaren Falls. I remember so many times coming here with friends and I feel like there's a sign that says you can't yeah no jumping off the bridge yet I for sure have like seen people doing that submerged rocks and unpredictable water levels have caused serious injury and death luckily that was never one of us you know we had a good time greatness of a good kiwi backyard mesh a mesh a great mesh you know Where's our beach house? Down like? Yeah. Halfway? Halfway. Well, way further down like, isn't it? Yeah. So, so just hiking around. Halfway. Should we go? Let's go. I'm just gonna film us leaving. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh. Look at this, public service announcement. Get oh. oh yeah, I just went right up. Get to New Zealand. Look at that. You can have find yourself your own little slice of Lord of the Rings or Narnia Prince Caspian territory. 45 minutes back. Here we go. Just having a lot of fun going back to places I used to come as a kid. This like waterhole right here. We used to dive in. There was a whole plank. Plank. No, like a natural bridge that would go across and then you would just like jump off all the way down into there. But the whole thing eroded like that, that right there, that waterfall used to be way down here and then all the way down in there is where you would like jump and swim and whatnot. Seasons, right? Five, six years and it's all different. That'll preach. Tonight is the first evening of the 50th anniversary of Scripture and Song here in Auckland at Life Church. This is something I've been so, so looking forward to and pretty much planned this whole trip around this event because I really just wanted to be here and be part of that crowd that receives the baton that they're going to pass to the next generation of Kiwi worshippers and leaders in this nation and for the nations. So, so, so excited. Have a look. Here goes. Yes. So why do a YouTube channel? Basically, I wanted more ways to annoy you. <laughs> I thought, what better way than video to actually bring you guys into my life and get to interact and actually share more of what's going on in my heart for creatives, for worshipers, for leaders of this next generation. Super excited to, why am I, it's not always super excited. There's gotta be many other ways to explain this. Stoked to have you a part of my world here in Reading. Bring you the viewer 
into my world, into my living room, onto my couch. So guys, thanks for watching. Kakite Arno, and I'll see you next time.